I want you to play the role of of, of David. Gator, it was Gator. It had to be Gator. Dumb opinion. <laughs> Stoney informed me of that take, and that should be framed. Yes. That is the singular worst take in the history oh, of the station. Right. <laughs> Did UConn would lose by 40 to the to, to the Pistons. The worst NBA the team in history would body the greatest college basketball team. No, he meant Y U K O N. Right. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Yes, the whole area. Right. Now, let's do the segment. I yes. still can't believe that's we'll, a real we'll, opinion. We'll get into that coming up after this. <laughs> Carry on. All right, here we go. Oh. Start off with a short one here. You would. <laughs> Always do. Always have. Here we go. <laughs> it ain't. Never mind. I, I will tell you, I'm a bit of a tequila snob. Okay, you know what? I think only one person would say that at this place. I'm going to uh, jinx myself. I'm going Gator. He gets very snobby with weird stuff. I'm going Gator. Stoney has recused himself. Mm -hmm. Kenny. I'm going to go Gator, too. He's the only one that talks about tequila that much on the station. Okay, over to Paul Sarah. Yeah, I think it's a sweep. It's Gator. If we're wrong... we're really gonna look stupid uh, <laughs> across the board. He might, you might have a problem. <laughs> don't, let, don't let him talk us out of it. Come on, Roberto. Who said Kenny, it? Kenny, who said it? <laughs> Good for you. Yes, you want that on your when, drop board? Yeah. No. We, <laughs> Wednesday we were doing the show from Comerica. Uh, I was in for Doug, where they provided the they showed everybody wanted the new food and all this and there was a uh, tequila thing there some of the tequila they'll be serving mm-hmm. at comerica park mm-hmm. and after you're watching the tigers offense you need to drink yeah, oh. potentially <laughs> all right roberto let's go to number two shall we all right here we go it's better to take a sack than throw an incomplete pass to pad your stats i'm gonna recuse myself I think I'm going to recuse myself also. Oh, wait a minute now. If we, Do we have the same idea? Yeah, um, yes, I think so. I think so, so yeah. So I'm going to, I'll have to guess it's Rico. No, <laughs> no, no. Because well, of the recusals. No, um, it could be anything if you heard it on the station. I know, I understand But that. do I believe that I do? Well, I'm not recusing if I explain it. All right, go ahead, Paul. Well, I guess I got to go with Rico. Then. All right, then let's just let's just get this done. Hold on. Yes. I don't. That was not. If if we have this right, Kenny, that wasn't Rico's opinion. That was Rico saying Dion Sanders' opinion and what he has told his son Shador. Oh, okay. Otherwise, I would file that right under that UConn yeah. take. Roberto, Kenny, is who he right? Said it. <laughs> Man, you're on your game today. Damn it. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Out it counts. Uh, right. All right. Come on. Marvelous. Yes. Here we go. We may be done with the all grays because this is a chance to reset, rebrand. Those were the most boring uniforms when they would rock those. I love the emphasis you put on rock. Mike Stone, Uh, you have a blank look on your face. Are you okay? Who uses that young term rock? (laughs) That would be the youngster of the uh, programs, uh, Jim Costa. (laughs) Mike, you wouldn't say rock those? (laughs) I I may have. I I don't know if I would put such an emphasis on it. Uh, um, uh, Paul Sarah. So for the first time in history, I think I have to recuse myself. Oh. Why, you actually listen to the station? When I believe be- I ran the board for their show. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, that narrows it down to morning show, so I'm going to go Costa. Wow. Uh, okay, I mean, I'll, I'll just go with it because I'm being honest. Anytime I've tried to tune in, I never hear Jim. I just hear the news. So I, I don't know. He could have said anything. Jim could have supported communism. I wouldn't have heard it. Roberto? Who said it? Oh. (laughs) 
Ooh, yeah. <laughs> See, you know what's weird about that? If you're going to say we're going to rock those, it usually has a positive connotation. He was negative. I won't really rock them. You know. Right, bizarre. Yeah, it's usually, hey, we're going to rock those things. Yeah, but it is odd. Yeah. But you got to forgive him. The guy's been on the toilet all week. Yes, I understand. He had a oh. wicked stomach bug. I oh, it was a mess. Yeah. I'd listen. You know, you hate to see it. All right. Roberto, you're getting your this ass is not kicked. Good, I know. He's playing the role of San Diego State, and yes. where are you going? I'm actually sitting in the studio this time. This isn't working out for me. All right, come on. All right, here's Let's another. Let's do it again. Okay, here we go. Rock them. <laughs> if the Tigers get to 82, 83, I think that's 100% possible. Hmm. Kenny, gonna... you're smiling like... I think I said that. I remember that was my prediction for the uh, for the season. Do you remember? All right, so I guessed eighty four. Rico said eighty six. I think you came in low, and you're like, you know, zibbity dabbity do. What about eighty two? Yeah, because Rico was the deflator at that point. Right. I think it may be Kenneth Cott. Well, since he said he thinks he said it, uh, but that could just be, you know, uh, he could be throwing us off, or it could be a massive inflated ego. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Paul, hold on, Paul Sarah, think about it. Let's see what DJ Paul Sarah says. I'm gonna I'm gonna trust Kenny's intuition and say he said it. Okay. Over to Stoney. Yeah, it's either him or Jansen, but I'm gonna go with Kenny. Why Jansen? Just so because I Because it's above five hundred, so he's Mr. Positive. Well, not the Mr. Positive. <laughs> First of all, that guy creeps me out. Oh, uh, did, did you ever listen to the sh- when I listen to Breger every night? Did you listen to Lions post game when he called and I basically hung up on him because I said we can't. You, I, I won't address you. You can be Greg, Jeffy Poo, Mister P here. <laughs> Gone. Yeah, I don't know. If you, Absolutely, you give yourself. Fine. Right, you can't give yourself a moniker. Right, right. Gator right. did. <laughs> Better than super. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Roberto, who said it? Who said it? Stony. Oh! Okay, I've heard wow. enough. All right, Stony from the corner for three. Yes. Timeout Pistons. Yes. All right, he pulled that from the fire. You had me convinced it was you. What an ego. It is. <laughs> it is. Just full of myself. What yeah. can I say? Did you oh wait, did you do it on pur- purpose? No, I actually people? remember saying that. I thought that I he said He said that. something very similar. Right. But good on you. Well, that should make you feel good, huh? What? That <laughs> he delivered a vanilla <laughs> take like John? Yeah, that they think a lie. Yes. <laughs> All right, you want proverbial, one more? Fla- proverbial flavor town of opinions. That's about the only thing we agree on, I think. Can I do one more, Kenny? Yes. yes. All right, here we go. There's no management here. Oh, oh, we can do it Friday. We want. Oh, okay. <laughs> here we go. I just have the feeling that Javi Baez is on a shorter leash than people think. Uh oh. Wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think, think I may have to recuse myself because I think I know who said it. I that. think I have to recuse myself. Why are you listening so much? <laughs> well, the other producers don't, so somebody has to. <laughs> Giving credence to the lion to the tigers management. I'm gonna say it's Doug from yesterday. Okay. Paul Sarah. Uh I'm gonna guess. I think I might have to recuse myself if it's this person, but I think it was Milliken. Okay, here's our problem. I think several of us have said this. (laughs) I think why I recuse myself, I thought you said this. I I remember you saying this or something alike. I made the point. Yeah, because I made the point. He was hitting eighth. They wouldn't do that last year. I asked about by June 1, is he even here? I may have said it. Why, Doug? Because it was a pro management take, kind of. I'm pretty sure you just plunged a machete in Doug's back no. in the most calm manner. No. Outstanding by you. the name of the game. Stoney fits right in with this game. And here you go. <laughs> one of those for you. Stoney just took a folding chair to Doug's spine. No, I didn't. Oh, it was Doug. See, it was a pro management take. Eh? <laughs> Strategy. <laughs> <laughs> he just put a tree branch in the bike spoke. Oh, my. Uh, <laughs> now, now, let me say this. I'm so happy with this one that Mike and this man think alike. Who said it? Ugh. <laughs> ah. oh. I feel a lot better about myself after that. Wow. 
And that was with me. I should have known that. <laughs> you can tell Stoney was really engaged in that broadcast. No, it's because they were bringing me more burgers. Okay. That is who said it. <laughs>